Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pokemon fans of the world, and friends and family of our community, how are you guys doing today? Like, I am just honestly, <laughs> I am so, so happy and so overjoyed right now, you know? Like, I woke up today, you know, I apologize for my hair kind of being a mess, you know? I just woke up out of bed a little while ago, uh, but I woke up with, like, a huge smile, okay? It was so damn big that you couldn't even see my face. It was all just a big row of teeth, you know what I'm saying? But, like... Where do I even begin with all this, you know? Like, you guys are just honestly just so, so incredible, so amazing, and just too damn kind and supportive, man. Like, you guys are truly a wonder. You guys are awesome. And I love all of you guys for all of that, you know, for all you guys do for me as a person, as a content creator, and, you know, for our community and our videos too, man. Like, seriously. Like, in my opinion, you know, this is one of the biggest reasons as to what being a YouTuber is all about, man. It is about sharing the joy, you know, sharing the reactions, sharing your thoughts and ideas, man. And, you know, like, doing it all together as a community, you know, it's like a team effort kind of thing, man. <laughs> and I just gotta say that we, with us being the community that we are here and now, man, that's just truly incredible, man. Like, you know, I've said this time and time again, and I'm gonna say it again because it's fucking true, man. But it's just like, you guys are the best community there is. And, you know, if uh, people, uh, you know, had people like all of you guys in their community and, you know, treating them the way that you guys treat me, like, they, they would share the same sentiment, too. Like, without a shadow of a doubt. Like, this is just honestly so incredible. So, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about the videos that I had uploaded yesterday. The first one, obviously, being my Pokemon Go Premier Ball Rage Rant video, which, for all intents and purposes, I did that in my Mega Crasher character, and I wanted to make life out of what I'm sure is a very frustrating situation for a lot of Pokemon Go players, including myself, but I kind of wanted to make more of a comedic light out of it, but I will say that, you know, in all seriousness, uh, Niantic do need to fix up the Premier Ball system, maybe even trade out Premier Balls for uh, the opportunity for us to actually use, like, our Ultra Balls to have a better chance at catching raid bosses, maybe even Master Balls, you know what I'm saying, for the Legendary Pokemon, because that's kind of what Legendary Pokemon are uh, made to be captured in, are Master Balls, because other than that, they're kind of next to impossible to catch, uh, unless you have some crazy-ass luck, you know what I'm saying, but I gotta say, though, like, the amount of love and support that you guys have shown that video, I was honestly blown back. I was so happy that that video got so much support because I put a lot of effort and a lot of just, you know, a lot of oomph into it, a lot of energy and a lot of aggression. <laughs> like, I was just pouring in sweat by the time it was all said and done, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the second video that, I'm t that I want to uh, talk about there real quick is the big one, okay? I'm talking about the Lycanroc Dusk Form Revelation video where... Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon reveals Lycanroc's new form, Dusk Form. Now, I did see in the comment section that, you know, there was quite a few of you guys that were kind of disappointed that, you know, you kind of wished more out of it, but here's the thing, like, and I do see where you guys are coming from, and to a certain extent, I do see and agree with you, you know, that they, they, they could have added a little bit more, they could have, uh, you know, leaked out a little bit more, but me being a Lycanroc guy, man, is just like, holy cow. I absolutely love this Pokemon, like, for it to have a new form too, I was pretty damn happy about that, and the thing is also is that, you know, I did say in the comments, it's like, this may just, in fact, be the calm before the storm, you know what I'm saying, like, maybe this right here is just a tiny, tiny little bit of a teaser as to what's to come, okay, because you never know what, um, what Pokemon, what Game Freak, Nintendo, you never know what they're gonna do, right, I mean, Yesterday was just absolutely unexpected and absolutely incredible, okay? And the third video was my Super Saturday Shadows featuring the Team Skull Boss. Now, for those of you guys that don't know about the Team Skull Boss Mega Crasher gimmick, so basically what goes on is uh, my Mega Crasher gimmick, I, it has three personas, okay? Like, my regular Mega Crasher gimmick is obviously, you know, where it's like an overhyped, over eccentric, and very, very energetic uh, and aggressive version of myself. Um, then you got the Shirtless Maniac, which is like 10 times amplified. Like, he is just loud, he is aggressive, just all over the place. And then you also have uh, the Team Skull Boss Mega Crasher, where he is a villain. He is an asshole kind of thing. And... 
at the end of the day, it's all done in good fun. It's meant to entertain and inspire. And I hope that you guys are finding all of that out of every single time that I make a Mega Crasher video. Uh, now, I took a big risk, in my opinion, by allowing my Team Skull boss Mega Crasher persona to take over Super Saturday Shoutouts, right? I mean, here's the thing. Number one, it has been a long time since I have done any videos with Team Skull boss Mega Crasher persona being in effect. Um, so I kind of felt like I was a little bit rusty, so I kind of had to practice beforehand. Uh, secondly, you know, I was kind of thinking, it's like, okay, how could the Team Skull boss Mega Crasher pull off Super Saturday Shoutouts and, you know, still give everyone what they come to see, but that being Shoutouts, but also live up to the expectations of being a villain, being an asshole kind of thing. And I kind of felt like that my Mega Crash, the Team Skull boss Mega Crasher, pulled that off pretty well. I mean, he was doing some trash talk and all that good stuff, but still giving the Shoutouts to the cool cat that was in the list, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I thought that uh, that video, looking back, it turned out pretty well, okay? And given the amount of love and support that you guys have shown that video, holy cow, like, dude, like, in comparison to all my other Super Saiyan Shouts videos, like, that video, like, in most recent memory, wow, dude, like, it was, it's just, oh my god. Like, that's, pro that's probably one of the biggest uh, reasons why I've got a big smile on my face. Because, I mean, here's the thing, is that I kind of had the expectation that the Lycanroc leak video would do good because everybody was talking about that shit. Hell, it was trending on Twitter, Lycanroc. I'm just like, god damn, man. Like, that's just insane. But I kind of didn't expect for my Team Skull Boss Mega Crasher Super Saiyan Shadow video to do that good. But, my god, it was just so incredible. Like... We are so close to hitting that 30 like goal here uh, in that video, and I'm just like, wow, man, like, that that was just honestly just so amazing. So, um, with that being said, I do leave you guys with one final question, and that is, would you guys like to see more of the Team Skull Boss Mega Crasher? And if that is the case, uh, what type of videos would you like to see the Team Skull Boss Mega Crasher in? In Rage Rants, in regular Pokemon Showdown Battles, uh, you know, reactions, things like that. You know, let me know, guys. Let me know. Like, I want to hear from you guys because your guys' opinions are uh, what matter the most to me beyond anything else without a shadow of a doubt. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you guys all very much for watching this video. I now got to get to the gym, man, because my pre-workout is kicking in, and I'm actually surprised I was able to keep it together, because the pre-workout, it really transforms me kind of thing, you know, like, once it starts kicking in, man, I become an aggressive machine that just clangs and bangs the iron all day, all night, you know, so, with that being said, guys, <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching this video, again, you know, much, much love to you guys, you guys are just truly incredible, okay, like, <laughs> Wow, it's like, here's the thing, is that I, we might even hit 5,000 Mason people subscribe before my birthday, in fact, I think that's exactly what's gonna happen, we might be able to hit it by the end of August, like, that's just crazy, and it's only the 6th of August today, right? So, with that said, guys, thank you guys all very, very much, uh, <coughs> have yourself a good day, I'll see you guys in a little bit, uh, next video is gonna be, a uh, Subscriber Showdown Sunday, so be prepared and be hyped up for that, cause there's four amazing battles that you guys are going to love, okay? So, thank you guys, I love each and every single one of you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, support, stay positive, and keep it 100, baby. Woo!